Namaste beautiful yogis and welcome to a very very special class here you see me wondering if I can do this as we were preparing to start shooting it started raining and it wasn't just drizzling it was raining and I wasn't sure where this is gonna take me as I've never done this before but the energy was so uplifting and so beautiful that I'm glad that I decided to do it and that I can share this vinyasa, uniquely special vinyasa with you. Let's begin at the front of our mat. Inhale and reach all the way over your head, invigorate it. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look ahead of you and you can jump back into Chaturanga, upward facing dog back to chaturanga exhale downward facing dog and you take the right foot between your hands and come up warrior one to warrior two open the arms out and externally rotate the left hip pressing into the outer edge of the left foot windmill the hands to the floor and step back into one legged down dog to side plank, left hand on the floor, left foot on the floor and you will kick in front of you with your right leg five times. Great. One handed plank, right hand off the floor, reach ahead of you and will reach under the shoulder five times. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, back to Chaturanga, exhale, downward facing dog, and we are going to take the left foot between the hands and come up, warrior one, hips facing forward, and open into warrior two. Try to soak in the invigorating effect of the rain, even though it's just on camera. I can feel it just watching this. And windmill the hands to the floor, step back one legged down dog, lifting the left knee up in the air and transition into side plank, right hand on the floor, five kicks with your left leg in front of you. and one-handed plank reaching underneath the right shoulder with the left hand five times pull the belly in and back to chaturanga upward dog chaturanga exhale downward facing dog right foot between the hands warrior one to warrior two Reverse the warrior, walk the left hand down the left leg. Exhale the right hand on the inside of the right foot, side angle. Exhale both hands on the floor and you will spin here. Keep your feet in warrior one alignment, twist, right arm reaches up and forward. Great, bring both hands on the floor, right knee over the triceps, right triceps and you're going to do five push-ups here. And step it back, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, left foot coming between the hands, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Side angle here. Left hand on the inside of the left foot. Sink a little deeper in here. And 
and let's bring both hands on the floor left knee over the left triceps five push-ups chaturanga push-ups here and step it back chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward facing dog and you can jump at the front of your mat chair hands on the ground jump back chaturanga and press back into downward dog and again same chair hands on the mat jump back plank chaturanga plank down dog and jump forward chair hands on the ground jump back plank chaturanga plank down dog chair and hands on the floor jump back plank chaturanga plank down dog jumping forward chair hands on the ground jump back chaturanga plank chaturanga down dog chair you get the drill and again hands on the ground jumping back plank chaturanga plank down dog chair and once again jump back do your push up press all the way back into down dog jump into chair and let's keep the right leg on the floor left foot comes off the floor one legged chair change sides and step it back changing sides again left foot lifts right foot lifts sit back and again left foot is lifting right foot is lifting inhale reaching all the way up and back exhale diving down inhale look ahead of you and you will jump back down dog knees on the ground and prepare for camel pose here you will walk your hands on your lower back and begin to bend forward into camel elbows working towards each other and slowly coming out of this in coming to all fours cat cow and we'll do cat cow here with the right leg lifting and bending behind us so round your back knee to forehead arch your back lift your foot round your back knee to forehead arch your back lift your foot this time you can reach back with your left hand grab your foot excellent and release changing sides left leg lifts knee to forehead arch knee to forehead arch knee to forehead rounding arch knee to forehead arch and you reach back with your right hand grab your ankle soften that shoulder and release rounding the back here on all fours and again prepare for camel walk your hands on your lower back and bend forward supporting your back with your hands here open the chest you can deepen it slightly and rest in child's pose great hands on the floor downward facing dog and 
right foot between the hands come up warrior two right hand on the inside of the right foot side angle reach way ahead of you clasp your hands underneath bound side angle step your back foot in and you will come up holding your right leg in between your hands lifting here and reversing with this so familiar movement step it back down step back into bound side angle and release your hands reach way ahead of you in side angle great here you can bring your left hand on the floor side plank three pose right foot in the upper left thigh reaching over the head exhale both hands on the floor in three and do three push-ups and back into three downward facing dog great and here this is an advanced balance you can reach with your left hand in downward facing dog and grab your lifted right foot see if you can stick it for a second and release great from here left foot steps in warrior two side angle reaching ahead of you clasping underneath step the back foot in I'm standing onto your right foot coming up holding the left leg in your clasp look away from your foot and slowly reverse this movement stepping all the way back in side angle bound side angle release the hands reaching ahead of you exhale both hands on the floor and transition into side plank right hand on the floor three pose left foot in the upper right thigh exhale both hands on the floor in three pose three push-ups and press it back in downward dog still in three pose step it down downward facing dog spread the fingers wide open and lift your hips as high as you can and let's bring the knees on the ground one more time prepare for camel pose lifting through your chest here and you can bring your hands over your chest and deep in your camel pose slightly and rest in child's pose one more time camel hands over the heart deepening it you can grab your ankles here and allow your shoulders to soften when you grab your ankles and you can rest in child's pose great hands on the ground downward facing dog inhale the left leg up and see if you can grab your left foot 
with your right hand in downward facing dog. Challenging but worth trying. Focus on your drishti point. And release. Plank. Here you can twist your hips side to side. In plank. Outer edge of a foot to outer edge of a foot. Left to right. And now take a quick second to preview the next exercise. It is twist to knee tuck. Twist to bottom foot knee tuck. This is just a preview, a new exercise to us, so try to remember it, it's not too complicated. And let's get started. Twist knee tuck, twist knee tuck, twist knee tuck, bottom foot tucks in, twist, 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 driving the knee in towards the opposite elbow, twist, keep moving. And now we're going to do the same thing, only the top foot is tucking in. Twist to top, knee tucks in. Twist, top, knee tucks in. That's an excellent oblique up core exercise. And you can rest in downward facing dog. Right foot comes in, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Side angle, right hand on the floor. Bring both hands on the ground and bring your knee on top of your right triceps. Here, you can try to grab your right foot for monkey side plank. And mine was a very quick second of hold. That's how much I did today, that's okay and release, elbows on the ground, stretching and step back, plank left foot steps in, warrior two reverse the warrior, walk the right hand down the right leg Side angle, left hand on the inside of the left foot and reach way ahead of you. Bring both hands on the floor and bring your left shoulder underneath the left knee, monkey side plank, grabbing the foot with the opposite hand and extending here. Great, and release. High lunge, elbows on the ground for a quick stretch. Or hands on the ground, either way. Whichever way works for your body. And step it back, plank. Knees on the ground. And prepare for camel pose again. And while you're preparing for camel pose, there was a little bit of a pause here. I was explaining to my camera guy how there was a bunch of um, snails and they ran to me as quick as they could. And once they reached my mat, they just stopped and started eating uh, little leaves there. And in each down dog, I would just look at their little faces eating, but they were really in a hurry <laughs> to come to me. So that is a quick pause here and we continue with camel pose. Now I want you to bring right hand on your lower back or even on your left leg, back of the leg and left arm reaches back and you will do the same thing over to the opposite side, left arm back and around to the right leg and bend backwards and coming out of this hands over the heart and now you can go a little deeper dropping your hands on the ground behind you only if you're prepared for this step it's a deep back bend and you can walk your hands slowly to your feet 
and head to the feet coming out of this and rest in child's pose this is our new location we decided we're not gonna be sitting under a tree might as well wear wet might as well be just in the rain and hands on the ground downward facing dog inhale the right leg up open the hip on top drop the foot behind you wow thing to back bend both hands on the floor and here in a wheel you can extend your feet extend your legs and back to wheel hands on the ground one legged down dog step the right foot between the hands and come up warrior two reverse prayer hands behind you back and now you can extend both legs wide legged forward bend with reverse prayer hands in prayer on your back inhale slowly coming out of this turn towards the back of your room warrior two feet alignment reach out to the sides warrior one hands over the head and here left elbow reaching up right elbow by the rib cage clasp behind and look up stretching the shoulders release and left elbow underneath the right clasp wrap the hands around each other and open the arms up look up back extension and release wide legged forward bend coming back up in warrior one facing the front of the room right elbow facing or pointing up left elbow elbow by the rib cage open the chest release right elbow underneath the left one wrap the hands around each other and reach up and back opening the shoulders and back to wide legged forward bent revisiting this stretch coming out of it facing the back of the room warrior one hands over the head hands clasping paying attention to your hips here hands out to the sides and you can clasp your hands behind you open the chest look up and one more time we're going to bring the left elbow up towards the ceiling right elbow by the rib cage clasp the hands and transition into warrior tree balance arms clasping hands clasping behind you focus on your drishti point coming out of this keep the clasp and step into wide legged forward bend Coming back up, facing the front of the room. Warrior one, look up, and still clasping. Warrior three. And wide legged, forward bent.
main hill coming back up facing the front of the room warrior one release the hands reach up clasp behind you open the chest soften the shoulders and we're going to reverse the clasp here right elbow up left elbow by the rib cage and shift to warrior three clasping the hands behind you coming out of this transition into standing on the right foot and lifting the left leg out five times directly out great and step the right foot back warrior one still the arms clasping to warrior three coming up to standing five leg raises lateral and step into wide legged forward bend arms reaching behind you clasping and bend forward wide legged stance to wide legged forward bend inhale coming up and we're going to take plie pose open the feet out and sit back sitting in plie knees pressing back pressing to the outer and inner edges of your feet open the arms out reach the right hand right shoulder underneath the right knee and see if you can go for side plank monkey side plank again holding your foot with the right hand excellent release and stretch the opposite leg in a martial arts stretch great to side lunge changing sides bringing the left shoulder underneath the left knee and see if you can grab your foot with the opposite hand and opening monkey side plank excellent and release into the martial arts side stretch and you can take a few side lunge to side lunge just moving consciously and you can reach with your arms over the head as you change sides just feel your hips feel your spine here great and from here walk your feet closer to each other wide legged forward bend holding your ankles let your head be heavy walk ahead of you and come up to standing and let's bring the left ankle over the right knee flex your foot and sit back here in chair pose with a hip opener and you can clasp your leg and foot between your hands and arms and come up to standing slowly release the ankle over the knee again and here you can bring your knee over the shoulder 
and straighten the leg. And sit back. All right, one more stretch here, hands in prayer. Ra left elbow on the inside of the left foot, twisting. And back to center. Stretch your leg in front of you, extending, and step it back. Change sides. Right foot over, right ankle over the left knee. Sit back, chair. One legged chair with the hip opener. Breathe into your hip. And let's bring the foot and the leg between the hands and if you lose your balance come back to it the way I did and come up to standing and release back down and bring your hand in between your legs so that your shoulder comes underneath your knee Coming up to standing with the knee behind your shoulder. See, I'm having troubles balancing, but that is okay. And once we come up to standing, you can straighten the leg. And release back to chair with a hip opener. Hands in prayer right elbow on the inside of the right foot twist and come back to center reach in front of you with your leg and step it back inhale your hands over the head and go for a back bend here right hand down the right leg release left hand glides down the back of the left leg and reaching through the fingertips on the right right side coming back up side bends clasp your hands and you can twist side to side here swinging your arms and I'm sure I'm looking for a rainbow <laughs> it was just the most gorgeous gorgeous moment really and the runners never stop running it was just so exhilarating and coming back to the front of the mat inhale over your head exhale forward bend jump back chaturanga upward facing dog chaturanga and exhale downward facing dog Inhale the left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, drop the foot behind you, walking, and step on both feet, bring both hands on the ground, wheel, you can extend your legs here in wheel, straightening the legs, opening the chest. and slowly walk back onto your mat in wheel and lower down onto your back laying down feet soles of the feet together reclining butterfly hold your feet open the knees out and let's bring the left shin bone into the chest left foot into the right elbow reclining pigeon and here you can bring your leg underneath the shoulder straighten the leg it's a little bit more advanced stretches obviously so work your way through this and changing sides reclining pigeon right foot into the left inner elbow and bring your leg behind you behind your shoulder straighten mm -hmm. 
and release. Happy baby, grab the outer edges of your feet. Soles of the feet together. And press your lower back into the mat, reach ahead of you, contracting the core. Both poles come up. And lower down. Come up, higher boat, and lower down. Come up, pull the belly in. And you can reach side to side here, elbow to opposite knee. Keep the belly in and the chest open. Grab your knees, straighten the back just to realign and we'll bring the right foot on the outside of the left knee, left elbow on the outside of the right knee, twist. One of my favorite twists. And let's stack the knees on top of each other, feet close to the hip bones and bend forward only if your body allows that move. Inhale, coming up, changing sides. Left foot on the outside of the right knee, right elbow on the outside of the left knee, twist. Soften your belly. And release, stacking the knees on top of each other, bending forward. Inhale, coming back up. And just bring your left foot behind you, right knee in front of you. Bend the left knee, grab it with the opposite hand, stretching the quadriceps here. And now grab the foot with the same side hand and go into a back bend. The full version of pigeon. And changing sides, left knee in front of you, bend the right, bring it in, stretch the quadriceps and see if you can grab the right foot with the right hand. And open the chest, release. Great, bringing both legs in front of you for easy pose. And next we're going to work on half lotus with a forward bend. See how far with this pose you can go if you cannot do lotus, then bring your foot on the inside of the upper thigh. Here you can grab your foot with the right hand back and around and bend forward, changing sides, either half lotus or foot in the right upper inner thigh, bending forward. Inhale, lift, grab your foot back and around with the left hand and bend forward. Lift, 
coming back up and here you can prepare for full lotus or or you can sit in sukhasana we're preparing for peacock pose in full lotus but of course you will skip the full lotus part if you cannot do lotus so listen to your body fingertips pointing back towards you peacock lifting the legs and all the way back wrist stretch quickly palms of the hands facing up press evenly into all fingers and let's sit between the heels and lower down reclining hero pose feet by the hips knees are hip width apart and pressing down so they're not lifting off the ground Coming back up onto the elbows and all the way up. Let's sit on our heels. Bring your hands over your chest and quiet your mind. Heart mudra. And let's finish with the courageous heart mudra we're gonna bring the hands in prayer over the heart and we're gonna cross the right hand closer to the heart bringing the backs of the hands together and we're gonna cross the pinkies the ring finger and the index finger bringing the middle finger to the thumb bringing this mudra over the heart you can close your eyes inhaling through your heart and exhaling through your throat center through your fifth chakra just observing your breath and bringing the breath through the heart out the throat allowing yourself to be present and aware of your breath and of the sensation in your body sensations in your body thanks for joining me today namaste